Dot density maps give a better idea of relative population densities within a region. To create a dot density map, you must have pCensus for map info, along with an appropriate boundary map. We'll start this example after already identifying a study area. Once your study area is defined, carry on through the wizard to create a thematic map with dot density. Generally, dot density is used to illustrate population, but it can be applied to other variables as well. Select to have the count or total value calculated. Now select the level of geography for the search target type. You will need a level that is at least as granular as the map boundary layer. If the boundary map is not already loaded, you'll have to select the file from where it is stored. Now you'll be presented with a choice of the size and color of the dot, as well as the number of units each dot will represent. Once you've made your choice, continue ahead to the final screen, where we will select the DA as the target type. One important thing to keep in mind, dot density is a visual tool to show the relative density of an area. However, the dots are pinned to the map at random intervals, and these most likely do not represent the exact locations of populations. If you wanted to take things one step further, we could also add a thematic map to show wealth or age. 